Territory Ontario so. Coalition Against Poverty has a new report on it. I know you haven't seen it, but they say that there's misuse in the housing stabilization fund, that there are millions that could have been used over the years to prevent homelessness, and they're asking for that money back now so that they can have more beds. Well, there has been uh, some uh, slight underspending in uh, the housing funding that has gone forward, and they've made some alterations now, uh, both through uh, changes in how people are eligible for those funds to actually make it so that this year they're spending up to the uh, budget, more or less. So I think that's what people expected. I will also point out that there has been, over the last couple of years, a, a, almost a 20% reduction in the Ontario Works caseload, which would explain the fact that there would be less money spent for these programs, which largely sometimes are based on Ontario Works uh, participants uh, taking part in them. Uh, but I will only say that the allegation they make that there has been an impropriety of any kind by anybody, and these things are run by public servants, not by politicians, um, I just think is why oftentimes they don't have very much credibility. Um, these funds have been carefully taken care of. Some of them have gone into reserves, which are for times when they, the money is actually needed as opposed to being needed at a given moment, say when the year end comes and there's a surplus. And I'm confident, as with other uh, reserves, and other funds of their kind, uh, that those funds have been entirely properly managed um, and that when they're needed to be accessed for housing allowances or anything else, they will be accessed in the normal manner.